Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at the XUV 700 by Mahindra and this is the AX3 version. So this is a detailed walk around of the car because there are not too many videos out there which give you a detailed walk around on the AX3 variant and I'm also going to tell you why I bought this uh, and why didn't I go for the cheapest MX or the AX5 or the AX7 with the luxury pack. So this is the AX3 uh, petrol manual version. Let's get into it. To start with, I really love the design. It is a very nice design by Mahindra uh, compared to the other uh, uh, cars which they have. The logo has also changed here and you must have seen it out there. Uh, I got my car about uh, two weeks ago. So this is a good two week review of the car. I've driven about uh, 900 uh, kilometers on the car. So it's pretty new right now. So the design is pretty much the same uh, with all the cars. There is a slight difference from the MX version to uh, the AX versions. Uh, and this is the starting of the AX version. So on the front you have got nice DRLs, uh, the new Mahindra logo, uh, the grille is the same, you have got DRLs and the DRLs come on as soon as you unlock the car along with the headlamps. So I think it's a really good feature to have. Now let's get inside the car and see the features as well as uh, the hits and misses. So you have an edge to edge screen, basically two different screens with uh, one which is your MID and as soon as you plug in the key it automatically comes on with that nice display. Uh, you do have your infotainment system which is extremely responsive. There is no Apple CarPlay right now on any XUV. It's only Android Auto. So that's the thing which you need to watch out for. You do have uh, a good air conditioning unit with no climate control and econ button. You have your uh, hazard lights uh, the home button which you can control your um, uh, infotainment and you have a screensaver disable enable button which according to me is not too useful but that's there apart from that the infotainment is very good so uh, now coming uh, to the gearbox it is a seven speed manual gearbox on this car you have one usb port there i wish you had more and you have a uh, phone holder and this is with no wireless charging the glove compartment is extremely big but it is not cooled so that's uh, a kind of a bummer there but yes uh, it's a very big nice glove compartment apart from that everything is uh, pretty basic so you have your day and night toggle there uh, for the mirror you have led uh, lights cabin lights, so that's good you have a vanity mirror there Again, another LED uh, light on, in the center of the car. Uh, you do have adjustable uh, seat belts. So that is, uh, again, a very good thing at this price point. So there are some things which Mahindra has done really well. Some things which were not required, but they've still done it. So it's a good surprise to have. Now let's talk about the steering controls. And before that, you can see that uh, tire direction, right? Very interesting. A very good feature to have as soon as you turn off the car this thing pops up on the screen I think it's extremely nice uh, it helps while parking as well now let's talk about the steering controls so the steering controls on the MX AX3 and AX5 are split so you have these controls over here which is call uh, mute volume up volume down selection up selection down the other side is given on the bottom so I don't know why they did that but it's on the bottom so you control the MID from there as you can see I am pressing that MID and things are changing here um, so you can control everything but from the bottom and not the steering so that's the difference here everything is still there uh, obviously feature wise AX7 uh, would have more features but this is something which uh, is different between them now um, I personally like how the MID is overall, it's very nice. This is the rear parking sensor. So you have a, a rear parking sensor already installed in the AX3. You can also install a, a reverse parking camera and it will be integrated with the 
entire system from Mahindra. It doesn't cost much, so I I think you should get it done if you want to. You can even install front sensors, so that can be done. Now let's go on to the other thing, uh, which is basically uh, the outside IRVMs. They do not fold, so they are not foldable IRVMs, but you can still control it. So that's a good benefit which you have here. Uh, from the AX7, you have foldable ones, but I think these can be done third party if you really want to, want them to be. Uh, frankly, I don't think uh, they are useful. Uh, only while parking or very small uh, lanes would require a foldable IRVMs. Otherwise, it's fine. Now let's talk about the comfort and the space in the car. So, at the starting. Uh, on the front row, you've got ample amount of space with a central arm console, so that's good. Uh, you have a dead pedal, which is also pretty interesting. Now the seat in the front has been set to my driving position and I am 5 feet 10 inches, so you can imagine. Uh, at the back, you still have a lot of space. You can comfortably take long rides, no problems there. You have got two AC vents at the back with one USB Type-C charging and a smartphone holder. So this is also good. Uh, of course, the LED lamp which is there. You have soft closing uh, handles as well. Uh, you have your voice assistant mic which you can see. Now at the back, there is a lot of room. Uh, let me open the tailgate for you. And as you can see, there is so much space here. Uh, you do uh, so basically this is a five seater so you do not have uh, AC vents at the back but you do have a charging socket so uh, a 12 volt charging socket if you want to you know uh, have a vacuum cleaner or something this will do so Mahindra has given uh, a good toolkit over here uh, which is useful in some cases and if you pull it further you can see that you have a nice uh, kind of a storage at the bottom as well which is hidden uh, I think it is pretty useful. The Stepney is at the bottom. Uh, so let's let's look at that as well. So that's there and you can take it out. There's a way to take it out. Uh, I'll get into the details in some other video maybe. Uh, now let's talk about the tire. It does not have alloy wheels. But the hubcap is so good that you think that it is an alloy. And I think it's fine. Uh, the alloy wheels start in the AX5 version. Now let's look at uh, the engine ones. And this is the petrol version, so you have the M Stallion. Uh, for the diesel version, you have the M Hawk. Um, and as you can see, it is a very clean setup. I'm pretty impressed with what Mahindra has done. Uh, and as soon as you open the bonnet, automatically the hazard lights come on. So all of that is uh, very nice, uh, feature rich. You don't have to worry about things. I think Mahindra has done an amazing job with this car and this XUV700 uh, 